Hey, this is the next installment of the Chrome tutorial. Uh, get, I'll just get on right now to a few of the things I've been working on. I have this the gold 3PO head out here. I, I hit it with the Scotch Bright pad, and I'm going to buff it again really quickly, and then I'm going to prime it uh, gray, buff it again, and then a white gloss coat, and get it prepped up for doing the Chrome, and I'll be back. And then this lamp, I'm not sure if you can, how it comes out on video, but you see this half. And this half look different. This one's actually been tinted with my gold tinting method that I'm working on right now. So as, as a test, you can see the color difference here um, from one side to the other. Not sure how much it'll show up. Let me see if I can turn around if it shows up better the other direction. But you can see the gold on the left, silver on the right. Those little spots are just like dirt marks. They're on both sides. You can see where it's not tinted. There's some there too. Um, but uh, it actually looks a little better color on video but this is actually not the uh, correct color this is a little bit more orangey and uh, the color this is the regular caramel colored ink the light caramel actually looks more like gold but uh, again in video this actually looks pretty good so anyway it's just an update I'll be back in a little bit with some more alright so I got this one primed and uh, got this one is just the back form head. I'm not even gonna cut the eyes out, but I'm just gonna use it as a test piece and paint it. So I will prime it just like this one. Uh, I'm gonna give it a quick buff with the uh, Scotch Bright pad just to rough up the surface a tad bit. So now I'm going to hit this with some primer, and then uh, it's just the plain old pylon. Now one of the things is you want to make sure that you shake this stuff to like a full minute and a half or so. And really uh, mix it up, which I've already done here. Should about cover for now. All right, I got both these uh, faces are primed here, and uh, I mounted them to some PVC to make them a little easier to paint. And uh, tonight I'm going to give them a hit with the gloss white Krylon, just this cheap paint. They're both going to get the same paint job, so um, we'll be able to check them out. There's nothing magical or special about what I'm going to be doing, so. Uh, I'm not going to bother filming it because it's too hard to hold my iPad or set up a camera for this right now. But um, So anyway, this is a, a good little trick for painting these things. Just a little dab of hot glue on a piece of pipe. And uh, it's really easy to remove, but gives you a good way to paint them, turn them. And it uh, works pretty nice. So, uh, yep, back so in a little bit. The, uh, the vacuum head and my copy of the vacuum head are now painted white. You see the uh, paint's all right. It's pretty humid out today. It actually uh, started to rain a little bit just a little while after I painted these. So I think they probably dried to some extent up to that point. But they are now slightly dull, but they're polishable. There's some little chips and things. I'm not really going to worry about those because these are just kind of side items. And um, one of them is going to be heavily weathered and one's just going to be kind of like a test piece that I'm going to test the gold on for um, my shots. Uh, on a, another note, when it rained, my gold test that I did here on this um, aluminum cap here 
was not affected by the rain at all. So if, if uh, you're wondering about like getting it wet or anything, the actual gold that I'm working with, uh, experimenting with, I should say, is um, seems to be somewhat weather resistant. Let me see if I can turn this. You can see the silver and gold. It's not very thick. I probably could use another coat, but you can see that there's a, a difference in color. Let me see if I can get the light on it. Good, good angle so you can see both. So, yeah, that's just the tinting. It's uh, not affected by the water at all. That is uh, partial future floor polish mixed with the ink base. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, I have all these heads now are to the white stage. So they all have a primer and a, a white base coat. And the next step for the next video is going to be the polishing. I'm going to take the three different heads and polish them to different levels so you can see what you know pretty good looks like next to a very, very good finish. Um, and so you can see the difference before you start because you don't want to waste the chrome on something that's not polished all the way. Um, so in that video I'll cover the polishing and I'll get into applying the chrome, uh, airbrush setup, spray distance, the amount of spray, uh, buffing, all the things that have worked really well for me and I'll try to cover them in as much detail as possible. If you guys are trying this and you're having uh, good results or bad results, let me know if uh, it's not coming out the way you think it should. Maybe uh, I'm missing something in my tutorial. I'd like to be able to correct that and make sure nobody else is having any mistakes. If you have better ideas, I'd love to hear that too because I can incorporate them so more people can learn and have a, a better grip. But I think the more people that, that work on this and come up with good ideas, the better. Um, anyway, the, the video after that, I'm going to get into the tinting and I've been experimenting with a few different methods. I have a few that are pretty close and one that I think is going to work really really nicely once I do some slight adjustments to my my mix um, and what I'll do is take each one of these heads and do them slightly different tint methods. We'll see which ones look the best in the end and then uh, from there I will go on to uh, chrome, not chrome, but uh, tint the whole suit to gold and uh, try to cover that maybe in the last video and see if I have any problem areas or inconsistency things that I need to take care of. But um, thanks for watching. I will be back in a few days with the next update.